The Boy Scouts are so weird. Sometimes they have a slight beard. That was beautiful. Thank you. Is Seattle the best place to get coffee? Oh no, what do you think a product can define a it is a good place to get coffee. There are hundreds of coffee shops. I'm sure like Italy has better coffee, you know. I think it's part of the, the subculture here. I think it's just because you have that reputation, you kind of like buy into it. People are, are very coffee aware and there's so many innovative things people are doing with coffee all around Seattle. You could say there's no Seattle without coffee, but we've got Amazon now, so. What is the best coffee in Seattle? Probably Vivace. The owner is like the creator of espresso and how it is created now. Probably Seattle's best coffee. Cafe Vita, hands down. Like you don't even need to put like cream or sugar in it. Places like Vita bring a culture about it as well, um, which I think is a huge part of Seattle's culture, so. Where did I just walk into? Foxy Lady Barista. So all the baristas here wear bikinis. Or just their underwear, yeah. Is the best coffee here? The best boobs are here. Well, our Red Bull Italian sodas are really popular. Actually, that is pretty good. What do you think is the worst coffee place in Seattle? Damn, this is inflammatory. Oh man, I don't want to do that. That's, That's okay. horrible. I mean, it's Starbucks. It's Starbucks, hello? I feel like they're like forcing themselves to like be like happy and stuff, you know? I like their tea. <laughs> I'm okay with Starbucks and Folgers. <laughs> One more question, can I have a banana? Please do, yeah. So I guess whether it's the atmosphere or the coffee itself, people in Seattle really care about their coffee, even if they don't like it. It's not that bad. Some don't even understand the beautiful life of that one delicate being that will allow us to be able to awaken from our slumber and be able to have the energy to chase our dreams. Because knowing that in Seattle, it seems like there's a coffee house amongst every corner, but their aroma catches our minds, allowing us to realize that we need espresso and a cup for those hard mornings and troubled times. Anthony, that was awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.